There are many ways to get data out of Sage 100, but let's just take a minute and look at three simple ways to get data into Excel. First, I'm going to run our accounts receivable trial balance report. I'm going to preview it to my screen. By clicking on the export button in the top left, I have several different options, but I can choose to export it out to Microsoft Excel, and I like to choose the data only option. This eliminates a lot of the formatting that can cause problems when looking at it in Excel. I can save it to my disk or have it launch right into an application, which is Excel. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to keep my default options here and just click OK. Now my report will open up in Excel. I can simply do some uh, formatting. I can run my own subtotals or do any analysis on the data that I need. Next, let's say I wanted to look for all of my sales orders that I had in the system. I'm going to come into my sales order data entry screen. I'm going to click on the little magnifying glass. From here, I can just click on this little Excel button at the bottom right, and in just a minute, it'll open up a list of all of my open sales orders based off of the columns that were available to me in my lookup screen. I can come into here and choose my custom lookup. I can create a new one or choose from one that's already available. And I can create a new one. I can make it my default value if I'd like. And I can choose which fields that are available to me in my sales order screen and move them over to the columns over to the right. So if I go through the list, let's assume I want to look at some billing information. So I want to choose my address one, address two, city, state, and zip. Now I have some additional options here in terms of uh, column filtering and how I want to start off my screen, but I'm just going to click finish. And now I have this new view option. I'm going to choose my new lookup that I just created, and you can see it's modified in my columns to include the billing address one, two, city, state, and zip. I now can click the little Excel button, and now I've just produced a list of open sales orders with the billing address information. Lastly, let's look at our exporting out using Visual Integrator. Visual Integrator is the tool that we use to import and export data from Sage 100. I'm going to choose our export job maintenance. I'm going to type in my example here, which is export. And you can type anything you want here, but Give it a name that's somewhat reference what you're trying to do. I can click on the magnifying glass to get a list of all the tables available to me. And I know that I'm looking for my vendor table, which is the AP underscore vendor or AP vendor master. Click accept, accept my job export. They'll ask me if this is a new job. I'll say yes. I can put some information in here and this is my export of vendor mailing addresses and I can choose where I'd like to put the file. I'm just going to put it right on my desktop and I'm going to call it vendor mail export dot CSV. It's always going to export it out as a CSV file. I have some options here, but what I want to do is just click on the data tab and from the list of tables available to me, I can choose which columns I want. In my example, I want the AP division number, vendor nom, uh, number, vendor name, and my address information. Click accept. It'll ask me, do I want to execute this job? It'll take me to my VI. I can test it, but in my example here, I'm just going to hit click accept. It'll confirm, do I want to export from ABC? I'm going to say yes. It tells me that there were 33 records that were exported from the system, and I can view the log. And if I come over onto my desktop, I have an export out of all of my vendors, division number, their number, name, and the address information. These are three simple ways for you to get data out of Sage 100 and into Excel for quick reporting or analysis purposes. Thank you.